So you followed my other video and you got your world uploaded onto the Forge, but now you don't want to use the Forge anymore. You want it back on your local machine or to transfer it, whatever. Let's go over how you're going to do that. It's actually super easy. So bouncing over to Foundry, you can see this is the world that I have on the Forge that we want to take down. I'm just going to throw test and we'll throw a token out here. So I'm just throwing that out on the map to show that we can take the world exactly how it is on the Forge and bring it back onto the local machine without losing anything. It should even retain chat. So here's my local foundry right now. As you can see, there is nothing actually in it as far as the game world goes. I have no modules and I just have the D&D 5th edition game system installed. Uh, so we can close out of this for now. To further demonstrate that I don't actually have anything in there, I'll pull up my files. Uh, and under data, you can see that I've got modules, system, and worlds. World is empty. Modules is empty and system just has DND 5e. Uh, to get to this, you just right click down at the bottom and then click browse user data and it will take you to the screen. Uh, we can push that to the side for now. What we're more concerned about right now is this screen right here. We'll need to do two things. One, click export world and you'll see it starts downloading there and export compendium modules. You can export all of them or the specific ones that you want to actually use or the specific ones that are used on this world. And so I'll hit export all. So when you click to export the files, it will download them into the folder that you have designated for your downloads. Typically, it's the download folder. I'll drag them out here on my desktop just to keep things simple. And what you will do is click on it, right click and extract all. All right, once you've downloaded them, you need to extract them. Being 2023, I imagine all of you know how to do that. If you don't, ask your grandkids. I'm just kidding. Uh, but just right click on it, click extract all. If you don't have that option, it means you need to download something like 7-Zip. All right, so these are the ones that we'll need. Let's go ahead and open up. So once you download them, take this, uh, take your world file, which my world is just called Eberron. I'm just gonna drag it into there. Then you can take your modules file, open up modules, open up inside your modules, copy all of them and drag them in there. Uh, you can skip the readme or you can add it. I don't really care. The modules don't always transfer over exactly how you would want them to. Sometimes you have to manually go through and add them one at a time. So this did not pull all of the modules in. I did not expect it to. So it's pretty easy. You just make a list of all the modules you use and then click install and install them all one at a time. And I've already got these wonderful errors from some of the ones I pulled in, but no big deal. We do see now though that I have Eberron here. And if I click to launch the world, once we log in, all right, as we log in, we see the test that I had just put there 15 minutes ago and the token I dropped here, the world exactly how I use it online. If you're just doing it one time, you might stop there, but if you kind of want both worlds to coexist for some odd reason, you can come over here, whoops, and you can click install, and you can install the Forge mod. Once that installs, come back over to your game world and we'll launch it. Now, what this is gonna let you do is sync the two and, ah, it's already uh, activated. Uh, when you come over here into settings, you'll have to put your API key in there. If you don't have it, I'll show you how to get it in just a second. And you can click sync. And what this will do, it'll take a while the first time you do it, but every asset you have, whether it's for this world or not, it will pull onto your local machine. Now, some of the cool things with the syncing feature that this has is that if you already have the files downloaded or once you've done it once, then next time you do it, so if you play another game and then you hit the sync button again, it should go quite a bit faster. So if I hit this, you'll see tons of assets are gonna start getting pulled in from all kinds of different stuff. I'll go ahead and cancel because I don't actually want to sit there and wait for that to do that. But if I were to open this up now and go into data, you can see all this stuff has started trying to pull in. So that's a, a, a pretty nifty feature. All right, so once you're back on Foundry to get your API key, it's pretty easy to get if you don't have it saved somewhere. You'll go to my account. This is going to sound pretty crazy, but you're then going to go to API key manager and you can generate a new key, keep it saved somewhere. And that's what you'll put into your game. Well, that's it. That's how you get your world back off of the forge if you want it on your local machine. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.